Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look a little bit more about the moon's revolution around the earth and how the moon phases, the different shapes of the moon that we see are a result of the moon's revolution. For your notes, please write this down. The moon revolves around the earth and the moon lights up because it reflects light from the sun. The sun lights up the moon. So the moon does not actually make its own light. It is simply reflecting light from the sun, kind of like if you were to shine a flashlight on the wall, the wall would look like it's lit up in that spot where the flashlight is shining. The sun reflects its light onto the moon. And because the light on the moon is a result of the sun's rays lighting up the moon, as the moon revolves around Earth and its position changes relative to the, where the sun is, that's why we see different moon phases, different shapes of the moon's light as it moves in its position revolving around the Earth. So here we can see a diagram. In the center here is the Earth. This smaller object revolving around the Earth is the moon, shown at eight different positions. So here's the moon at eight different positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we can see on the right side of the diagram here it says the sun's rays. So we can assume the sun is over on the right side of this diagram. So if the sun is over here on the right side, we can see that only half of the moon is lit up at any given time, but because the moon is revolving around the earth, we see different parts of that lit up side of the moon. So here at position one, the side of the moon that is lit up by the sun is facing away from earth, okay? So if you're on earth here and you're looking up at the moon, you only see this half of the moon. It's totally dark. You would not see any of the lit up portion of the moon if you were looking up here at position one. As the moon revolves around the earth, more and more of the lit up portion of the moon can be seen. Here is just a little crescent moon. In this case, if you were on earth, you would see a quarter moon. Right, you would see half of the moon lit up, half of a half as a quarter. If you are at position four here, you would see a waxing gibbous. And then if we keep coming around to position five, when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth of the sun, in this case, the half of the earth of the moon, the, the lit up portion of the moon is totally facing the earth. So here at position five is where we would see a full moon. And then the moon keeps moving around in its orbit, revolving around the Earth, and the light starts to go away until it returns to position one, where we see a new moon, where the entire moon is dark from Earth. We cannot see the moon at all. The important phases that I want us to know from this diagram are the new moon phase and the full moon phase. So just to review here, if we are at position one, and we are on Earth looking up, we only see total darkness. This here is a new moon phase. If we want to find the full moon phase, we want to find the part, the position in which the half of the moon facing the Earth is totally lit up. That would be over here at position five. The half of the moon that is facing the Earth is totally white, totally lit up. This is a full moon phase. So let's draw a simple diagram of this in our notebook. You don't need to use different colors. Just go ahead and draw the sun. We will then draw the earth. And then we're going to draw the moon's orbit. I'll draw that as a circle. And we are going to draw the position of the moon in two different locations. 
Okay, so we'll draw the moon here. And in this case, the moon is in between the Earth and the sun, and this would be, oops, This would be a new moon. And then if the moon continued to move around in its revolution, and it was directly opposite that location, so here it would be sun, earth, and then the moon, the portion of the moon that is facing the earth is totally lit up. This would be the full moon position. Sometimes when you look at a diagram of the Earth, Moon, Sun system, the Sun might be displayed on the other side. So in the last two diagrams we looked at, the Sun was on the right-hand side. In this diagram here, the Sun, we can see from its rays, is on the left side of the diagram. In this case, we have to remember that the Sun's rays are on the opposite side now. And that's really what determines where the full moon phase and the new moon phase are. So if the sun is on the left side of the diagram, where in which position would you find a new moon phase? Now remember, a new moon is when the portion of the moon facing the earth is totally dark. That would be what we see here at position five. This would be our new moon phase. Where in this diagram would we see a full moon? Remember, a full moon is when the portion of the moon facing the Earth is totally lit up, all lit up. That looks like what we see here. Position one here would be a full moon.